The future of WB games has supposedly been decided and we gotta talk about it. As a creator who mainly covers WB games like Mortal Kombat and Multiverses, this is uh, some pretty big news. So buckle up, subscribe here for more and let's get into it. Shout out to Caboose for uh, providing this picture here. But Warner Brothers had an earnings call recently and they made this statement. Let's blow it up so you can see it, all right? It says, we have four strong and profitable game franchises with loyal global fans. Only four, but okay. <laughs> we got Hogwarts Legacy, Mortal Kombat, Combat, Game of Thrones, and DC. In particular, Batman. But they still say DC because we all know we're getting like the Wonder Woman game. They also do Injustice, stuff like that. They go on to say, we are focusing our development efforts on those core franchises with proven studios to improve our success ratio. So they have come out and blatantly said, we are focusing our development efforts on those, basically just those four franchises. Hogwarts Legacy, whether you like it or not, massive success. Mortal Kombat, duh, it's Mortal Kombat. Game of Thrones surprised me, but of course, they also have DC and as they say here in particular Batman we all know and love the Arkham games they just released the new Arkham VR game which I've heard is also great Mortal Kombat 1 though didn't launch very well still was in the top 10 games of 2023 and I think 2024 as well here is the full article I'll have the link to this in the description below speaking about those four games they go on to say but we have four games that are really powerful and have a real big audience that love them and we're going to focus on those four primarily we're going to go away from trying to launch 10 12 15 20 different games, I think we have a real chance now with focus to have the gaming business be steadier. So going from 10, 12, 15, 20 different games down to four main franchises is quite a big cut, but it's telling us, the audience, what to expect from WB games. It's gonna sound like a broken record, but yeah, no longer do we expect 10, 15, 20 different games, we're gonna expect four. Which by the way, this all basically confirms that we're getting another Hogwarts Legacy without a doubt. We're getting another Mortal Kombat game and or Injustice, because they do say DC is part of that main four. So I could absolutely see them continuing support for Mortal Kombat 1 for quite some time and or maybe doing an Injustice 3 at the same time or right after Mortal Kombat 1. And then maybe continue Game of Thrones, uh, whether TV show or maybe even a video game for it. I mean, really the only Game of Thrones rep I can think of is uh, Arya Stark in multiverses. That's not really enough to keep it in the top four here. So uh, yeah, short, simple, sweet to the point for you guys. Uh, WB is really focusing down their development on their future games. Again, Hogwarts Legacy, Mortal Kombat, Game of Thrones, DC, particularly Batman. So we're getting Hogwarts Legacy 2, another Mortal Kombat game and or Injustice and another Batman game as well. But tied in DC again, we're also getting Wonder Woman. So maybe that's another focus. We gotta see gameplay of that game soon, man. I am freaking pumped. Maybe we'll see at the game awards i don't know as a creator myself who mainly does wb games again and a personal lover and fan of their games i'm excited to see what this entails for their future of their games and i'm also very intrigued to see if this focus will benefit them more than not i think it will but uh, only time will tell so with that being said my dudes let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of wb's uh kind of focus shift into these four main categories are you excited are you intrigued are you disappointed let me know your thoughts down below and subscribe here while you're at it Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.